Leila and in this video I'm gonna show you how to DIY three cute tops from old t-shirts. So let's start. You're gonna take your old t-shirt and we're going to cut these leaves off, turn it into a muscle tee. Then we're going to fold the back of the t-shirt in a half like this. Next, we are going to draw a half heart on the back, like that. I'm just using a pencil for that. Then we are going to cut it out with a pair of scissors. Next, we are going to unfold it and you should have a nice heart shape on the back of the t-shirt. After that, we are going to turn the t-shirt inside out, like that, and I'm going to use here a old uh, cloth that has, uh, it's made of lace, and I'm just going to cut that part that I want for the heart, and I'm just using craft glue to glue it, so we're just going to apply the glue uh, around the heart, like that, very close to the edge. After applying the glue, I'm going to uh, place that piece of lace that I cut out of the clothing and I'm going to let it dry for like an hour. Uh, this glue works really well, it really works guys. Uh, if you want to try this, I highly recommend. Um, so, and then I'm just going to let it dry for an hour and then I'm going to cut the excesses off and that's pretty much it. So after an hour, you're gonna see that you're gonna have this really cool effect on the back, uh, this heart effect. This is how it looks like. I just think it looks so cool. I simply love it. Our second t-shirt is going to be a graphic iron-on t-shirt. And I'm going to start out by cutting these sleeves off. And I'm going to leave the neck because I'm going to make this into a muscle tee as well. And I'm also cutting the bottom a little bit because I want it to look more like a crop top. So next what we're going to do is we're going to go on Google and we're going to Google the words OK OK and then you're going to see uh, a bunch of prints that you can use. For your t-shirt and you're gonna need a iron on paper or a transfer paper for that so I'm using this one and when you print it out you want to use the plain side of the paper to print um, your design so we're gonna put this like that that's how it goes in the printer once you're done printing and then you're going to set your iron for the highest setting and you're going to cut around the design that you print so this is how we need it we need to cut the excess of paper off and you're going to iron your t-shirt for a little bit before you place it on and then you just see uh, if it's well centered, if it's exactly on the spot that you want and you're just gonna iron it for like 20 seconds. I spend a lot more than that. Uh, you can uh, always uh, pick on the edges to see if it's working or not. And if it's not, you just keep on ironing it until it works. And finally, after a couple minutes, I got my print and I think it looks really good, the quality. And the transfer paper or the ironing paper comes with instructions, so just make sure you follow them and everything's gonna work out. For our last and third t-shirt, we are going to start out by cutting the parts that we don't want on a t-shirt and just making whatever design that you like. I'm just cutting these sleeves off and I'm also cutting the neck off on this one. 
Just be careful cutting the neck for this design because um, to make that effect, uh, the, the bows on the back, we need the whole back of the t-shirt. So here I'm just cutting around and I'm just leaving that part on the back. And I just realized that there was a piece of glue coming off my pair of scissors, but that's okay. So let's keep on going here. So we're just gonna turn this uh, t-shirt on the back and we are going to fold it in a half. And we are going to make the cuts for the bow. So for making the cuts, we are going to make very wide strips on the back like that. And once you're done cutting the strips, this is how it should look like. And next we're going to use... Um, I'm gonna use the piece that I cut from the bottom of the t-shirt to make little strips. And I'm gonna use those strips to uh, wrap around it and create the bow effect, like that. And I'm going to use the same craft glue that I used for the first t-shirt to glue this strip around the bow. And then you're just gonna let it dry for an hour. And there you have it, your bow effect. And this, uh, this style is really nice the way I did this because sometimes people create a knot to make the bow but the knot can make it really uncomfortable for you uh, to lean on the chair or something so I think that this way is really comfortable and looks great. So that's it for this video guys, if you like this video please don't forget to rate and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys on my next video, bye bye! Oh, 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 oh,